What's up guys, this is Dennis with Luxon Jewelry. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a few details on how to use an ultrasonic cleaner. Either way, make sure you read all the instructions and the manuals when you get this, if you do decide to purchase this. And so I did list all the products, all the tools in the description below. I did purchase this on Amazon. So you guys can go check it out there. And so this is one of them here. This is the ultrasonic cleaning solution. And so I've been using this for quite a while now. It's very good uh, to clean the jewelry. And so um, it's beneficial guys. So I am going to be cleaning these four chains here. On the left, I have the 8.5. I have the domino chain next to it. It's an unreleased chain that I'm going to be releasing very soon, a Franco chain and a rope chain. And so the rope chain is kind of where you want to see it because you can kind of see that it's intertwined and you want to go inside and in the nitty gritty, which is going to be beneficial. So here, guys, on the left is the used chains and on the right are brand new chains, guys, okay? And so I just want to give you guys a color difference on how it looks like. It's a huge difference, honestly. So I want to make it clear. We're going to clean these chains here, but they're not going to look like brand new chains. Okay. You can polish them all you want. You can clean them all you want. You can use the ultrasonic for, you know, 40 minutes if you want, and you're not going to make it look like brand new. Okay. Um, so just keep that in mind. So here is the machine guys. It's very simple on the left. It has the heater. This is a good benefit of the, the machine because it has a heater. It actually helps to remove all that dirt. And on the right here is the timer. I put it for 10 minutes. It's going to be beneficial. You can put it for 10, 20, 15 minutes, whatever it may be. Okay. And so this is just one of the tools here. This tool is to put the chains in there because, or any piece of jewelry that you might have earrings or whatever it may be. You don't want the chains or the jewelry to fall in through the basket because you don't want to damage the machine, but I'm going to take one out. I'm going to put the 8.5 out there. It's kind of big enough, but typically I, I put it in there. I'm just going to put it there for video purposes to, just to show you guys. Okay. And so just make sure you lock it up, put it in there and then we can and go ahead and start up the machine okay like again guys um, in this video I'm just using a distilled water and I'll show you guys why because I'm going to use the distilled water for the steamer and I'll explain then and here is the solution guys honestly you can be generous it doesn't really matter you can follow the instructions but I just prefer to be a little bit more generous than what is described in the label there okay and so let's go ahead and start this bad boy up here and let's click start so as you can see here, guys, the waves are bumping into each other. You can see the bubbles there. You can see the, the waves just hitting each other and cleaning the jewelry. And so um, if you decide, you can kind of move it around if you want. You move the product left and right, shake it up or whatever. It's not necessary, but you can, right? Uh, another thing, guys, is that this machine is very loud. So just uh, be aware of that when you click start and you um, start the machine. It's very, very loud. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. So there you can see that we're almost done uh, it, with the countdown. So here, guys, just make sure you rinse it off with tap water or clean water, whatever it may be, um, just to remove all those residues, all, all those bubbles and all that stuff. So here, guys, is the chains, uh, the four chains that came out of the ultrasonic cleaner for 10 minutes. Again, it was 10 minutes guys as you can see it's a huge difference it looks much cleaner it looks much better the tarnish has been removed on a lot of it okay and that's just step one so here are the chains guys the brand new chains look at the difference compared to a few minutes ago okay it's a huge difference and the chains look much better again you're not gonna make it look brand new because of the polish because it's just brand new you can't beat that okay so let's move on to the steamer guys so the steamer is here this is where you want to use the distilled water why because you don't want any particles inside the machine there you don't want to use tap water and have any type of particles any type of uh, things roaming around in there because you don't want to damage the machine okay because remember it's gonna come out through the steam there make sure you turn it on make sure you turn on the machine um, once it's turns green it's ready to go make sure you lock it up very good as well okay and so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rope chain uh, first as you can see the steam is just hitting the rope chain there's not a specific way to do it guys honestly you can put all the chains in the basket like I'm showing you guys in a few seconds here or you can do it one by one basically what you want to do guys is to make sure that um, the steam is going in between the links because that 
is where it's very hard to clean. You can't really polish those areas, so that's why the steam is beneficial, okay? For those areas that it's very hard to get, okay? And so guys, another step is very extremely important is the polishing cloth, guys. Don't forget the polishing cloth. As you can see here, guys, so this is the finished product here. It looks great, guys. It looks wonderful, guys. The last step is the polishing cloth. And so uh, once you polish it, guys, it looks great. As you can see, it's not going to look identical but it definitely looks much better and so guys i really hope that this video helped you guys if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and again if you watch the video till the end leave a wave emoji join the algorithm wave with me and put a fire emoji just letting me know that you watch this video that you hit the like button and you hit the subscribe button guys thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video